Hello, welcome to Cat's Love, and today I'm going back to my cat breed profile series to talk about the Devon Rex. This cat is known for its alien-like appearance. So let's just get right into the history of this breed. The breed originated in Buckfastly, England, in the English county of Devon, which is a county that is right beside Cornwall, England, the origination of the cat breed I talked about in the last episode. So they're somewhat related. It all started with Curly, who was recognized as the first ever Devon Rex. Curly's owners, Miss Beryl and Margaret, didn't realize how rare their kitten really was. Until months later in 1960. Miss Beryl originally assumed that Curly was a Cornish Rex. But later on, when they tried breeding Curly with other Cornish Rexes, they found out otherwise. Meaning their Curly was one of a kind. Anyway, in 1968, the Devon Rex was imported to the United States, and later on in 1979, it would be recognized by the Cat Fanciers Association. So that was the history of the Devon Rex. Let's move on to taking care of the breed, starting with their grooming. Due to the breed's curly fur, you need to be careful when grooming due to their curls. Similar to the Cornish Rex, you don't want to break them. In fact, it's recommended to just let the cat groom itself. Also, a wipe down with a damp cloth every week should be good, so that way you don't cause bald patches. Excessive grooming by you or the breed will lead to bald spots. Bathing this breed every month or so should be good as well, just to keep them clean, but still you need to watch out for their tight curls, just make sure not to break them. Also, make sure to keep their teeth healthy and their ears clean and all the regular stuff like that. This breed is also low shedding and is considered to be one of the lower maintenance cat breeds when it comes to grooming. Little to no shedding should be expected, but some light shedding will always happen. Now let's get to their general care. So first of all, this breed is known to be highly active and energized, so frequent exercise is necessary. Interactive play as well will also be good in keeping them in shape. A bit of indoor and outdoor play as well, but if you can't do outdoor play, that's fine. Catio, windowsill, should be alright. Outdoor play is recommended though. The Devon Rex is a mischievous breed and they love to be involved with everything you do. This cat will stick to you like glue. They are very people-oriented and they just love having your attention. If ignored or if you don't give them your full attention, then they will go full-blown husky mode and let you know by meowing and chirping until they get your attention. Which also means this cat can get destructive and sad when left alone for long periods of time. I would recommend the usual cat trees, window perches, stuff like that, and don't be surprised to see this breed on top or even beneath of unusual places like the fridge or on top of a door or even in your TV stand or in your cabinets, if they can find a way. This breed is also highly trainable, so I guess you could train them not to do that. Primarily Fetch, and also the original uh, Devon Rex Curly, was taught how to play Fetch and how to walk on a tightrope. They are a dog-like breed, and they love hanging out with their owners. Now let's talk about their diet. The Devon Rex should eat a high-protein diet that helps with weight management. This breed should do fine with really any commercial cat food, but if possible, I would get one that supports accelerated calorie burning. I would recommend a schedule as well, one so that the cat doesn't overeat because this cat can get obese very easily, and also because having your cat on a schedule is just generally healthy. This breed is known to love food and will definitely try to steal your food at dinner time. Human food isn't recommended for this cat since, you know, they can get obese pretty easily, so I wouldn't recommend giving them any human food or anything like that. Anyway, let's take a look at this breed's documented health problems and their health care. First of all, this breed is prone to a heart disease called HCM, hyperthropic cardiomyopathy, polycystic kidney disease, and also hereditary baldness. This breed is also prone to literally every other common health problem in cats, so regular checkups to the vet are necessary. Now let's talk about their unique and alien-like appearance. This breed is said to have an alien-like appearance due to their non-cat-like fur and their triangular face. They are a short breed of cat, having a length of around 15 to 18 inches or 38 to 46 centimeters, while having a height of around 10 to 12 inches, 25 to 30 centimeters. This breed can weigh from 6 to 9 pounds or 2.7 to 4.1 kilograms. This breed has large ears, large nose, and highly set cheekbones. With a muscular body and athletic legs, they sort of look bony, especially around their neck and their chest. Their fur being wavy and sometimes velvety. 
feeling like you're petting a rabbit. Their whiskers are known to easily break as well. Also, like the Cornish Rex, their whiskers can curl. And some of these cats may not even have whiskers, which is surprising to me since, you know, whiskers are like a cat's GPS. They, they can't really do well without them. So maybe what my sources meant is that they're just very thin to where you can't really see them. Anyway, yeah, they're known to break easily, but they also grow back really fast. Which also means they are commonly found with short whiskers due to them breaking all the time. The breed has big oval eyes that come in a variety of colors, such as amber, blue, copper, gold, hazel, orange, and yellow. Their fur colors are white, blue, black, cream, red, brown, fawn, cinnamon, chestnut, chocolate, platinum, lavender, champagne, and seal with their coat patterns being solid, bicolor, tabby, and every other common coat pattern like Calico, Torty, and Tuxedo. Some similar breeds would be the other Rex cats, like the Selkirk, the German, the Laperm, and of course the Cornish Rex. All right, I kind of sped through those last couple segments and that means we are nearing the end of the video. So let's take a look at some final fun facts before we come to our conclusion. Did you know that the alien from E.T. was possibly inspired by this cat breed? There's a rumor that Steven Spielberg's cat actually inspired the look of the E.T. alien, as Spielberg actually owned a Devon Rex, although I can't find any information about that since every time I look up the word Spielberg and cats, that live-action movie comes up. So... So that means every time your cat is meowing and trying to get your attention, your cat is just basically trying to get you to put it in a bicycle and ride it to the moon while it meows out E.T. phone home. There are two famous Devon Rexes in the movie Lady and the Tramp, where two cats that are Devon Rexes basically just do mischievous stuff to try to get the lady in trouble. To basically incriminate the lady. These two villainous cats have super unique names. I, I bet you can't guess what their names are, in fact. The first cat's name is Devin, and the second cat's name is Rex. Number one most unique cat name award goes to that movie. Fun fact, this cat breed is known to be the Poodle of Cats. This breed commonly has the nickname of Poodle Cat. They even share personalities. And that was the last fun fact. Anyways, thanks for watching. So you may be wondering, why are we already at the cat breeds that start with the letter D? Weren't we just two episodes behind from getting here? Well, while writing the script for the Kimrick cat breed, I noticed that the Kimrick is basically the same as the Manx, just different history basically and with slightly longer hair. So when the Manx cat breed profile comes around, I'll probably do a part two for the Kimrick like I did for the Kashmir and the Bengal, basically that situation. And so I started writing the Cypress cat's a script and I realized that the Cypress cat is just a long haired Aphrodite giant. I already did an episode on that breed, so skip ahead, and here we are at the Devon Rex, the cat breeds that start with the letter D. Already here, and that also means that my schedule is already caught up, which means I don't have to do a cat breed every other week, but I'm still gonna do that just to get, you know, far ahead. So that way, if I do take another break, which probably won't happen for a while, don't want to jinx it though, then I will be caught up and it'll be fine. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Cat Breed Profile Series. Next time, I'm covering the Dawn Skoy, or also known as the Dawn Sphinx. Anyways, this has been Cat's Love. See you next episode.